Hey everyone, we're at the Logitech booth now at PAX West 2016. We've already talked about the new mouse, keyboard, and headset shown a few days ago. Today we're looking at some click latency testing. So this is on the more uh, testing methodology side. Pretty cool stuff. Before getting to how this works, the content is brought to you by iWiPower and their new Elements Gaming PC with a full tempered glass side window and front window. So what we're showing here, Logitech's got two mice on display. They have their new G403 wireless mouse that's got a wire coming out of it. I'll explain that in a moment. And then there is a Razer mouse as well, which is a Death Adder Chroma. Uh, so the point here, as Logitech has explained to us, is not to show necessarily that one mouse is better than the other, objectively, or anything like that, but that wireless is not uh, just in terms of inherently slower necessarily than a wired mouse. So this is something we talked about in our G900 review, if you remember that. And this is the same components as in the G900 mouse, just in the G403 in terms specifically of the, the wireless configuration. So what happens here, I'll show you how it works first, then we'll talk about the more specifics. If we go here in their custom-made software, we can click, and i uh, got to start it first. So you can click, and this will start tracking the inputs, uh, the latency from the clicks that I've sent to the system. So you can see here we're between about 10 and 12 milliseconds on the Razer mouse clicking. If we go to the Logitech mouse and click, and again, keep in mind, this isn't to say one's necessarily better than the other, though the data will show the Logitech's a bit faster. The Logitech is sitting between three and a half and five and a quarter-ish milliseconds. Uh, so the point there being that with a wireless transmission to a receiver, which is what this is, going into the setup over here that I'll explain momentarily, the Logitech mouse is actually competitive with the Razer mouse. It is not inherently slower because of the wireless transmission, uh, which is, again, to the point that, of course, many people have seen uh, speaking about online, if I use a wireless mouse, it's going to get me killed in gaming because it's slower. So we talked about the G900 review. I won't go into it too much here. Uh, but that's the data. Uh, the way it works is pretty cool. So they've got a custom setup, and it's a couple of tools you can buy off the shelf, but there is a custom breadboard involved. This Razer mouse has two cables coming out of it. One's USB, and one is the cable that's used to track the latency. Uh, this one's just got the latency, the, the tracking cable off of it. It's still transmitting to the USB receiver. The receiver goes into one of these, which is a USB analyzer. So that feeds in there, and then that analyzer out the other side feeds into a USB hub. The same is, same for the, the same is true for the Razer one, which goes to the analyzer, then to the hub. So the electrical signal for the click is sent first, and that goes through this stuff. It's fed into the, uh, via this wire right here, the signal is fed into this red and black uh, dongles that go into the custom breadboard. Breadboard does some processing. A timer is involved to do the actual timing, millisecond timing, and so what comes out is, uh, is the signal we see here. So that's the idea. Pretty cool setup, uh, something that if it becomes feasible one day, I would love to do for our own testing just because it does add an objective element to mouse reviews outside of the usual subjective stuff. But uh, for the time being, that's, that's kind of the concept on the whole. But as always, links in the description below if you want to learn more about this Patreon link, the post video, it helps out directly. I'll see you all next time.